This is Andy Waldrop. Die Ball is nestled in Deep East Texas, and like many other radio greats, it's where Bill Ingram got to start working for KSPL in 1975. Over the next 15 years or so, Bill chased opportunities and honed his craft in garden spots like Liberty, Richmond Rosenberg, Conroe, and College Station, too. In 1991, he changed up his act, stopped spinning wax, and started reporting the gridlocks and tie-ups for metro traffic in Houston, which led to some serious nationwide exposure. Working for Roadwatch America, Bill's voice boomed out of a number of the 50,000-watt powerhouse AMs that skywaved the nation, like WABC in New York, WJR in Detroit, KOA in Denver, and WOAI San Antonio. Twenty years ago, he took his jack-of-all-trades experience to KSBJ in Houston, where Mr. Bill was behind the wheel of their rolling billboard and broadcast bus for 15 years. He shook hands and spread the good word, and probably the toughest part of his job, bringing inspiration to frustrated commuters going to and from work. Bill is especially proud of a new feature heard on KSBJ called Welcome to Houston, where he shares his stories of growing up in the nation's fourth largest city. It won't be long until Bill celebrates his 21st anniversary at one of the nation's leading Christian radio stations. And while we can't all be there for that, today we can recognize a career worth recognizing. Join me, along with a bunch of friends, family, fans, and co-workers who traveled up the Highway 59 corridor for this special presentation today. Bill Ingram is now a 2017 inductee of the Texas Radio Hall of Fame. Wow. I have no words. I really don't. This is amazing. Thank you, guys. I, uh, I want to start by thanking our good Lord for giving me a job that I've had in a business I love for more than 40 years. Uh, how many of us get to do that, right? <laughs> um, I also want to thank my wife, Letha. She's my rock, my biggest cheerleader, and we all need that at times. I want to thank the rest of my family that's here, Stephanie, Roger, Brittany, and my KSBJ family, including our president and general manager, Tim McDermott, his beautiful wife, Trudy, that came up, a uh, whole crew of you guys, all, most of our programming departments here. So thank you so much. This is such a crazy business we work in. Back in the uh, mid to late 80s, uh, I was at KFRD in Rosenberg in Fort Bend County. And I did the morning show on the FM station. Our AM uh, sister station was a uh, Tejano format. And we're in the middle of the morning show. I look up, and flames are shooting out the AM console. It's on fire. And we're going nuts because, you know, I could tell right off that ain't right. I have an eye for the obvious. I catch something like that almost every time. And so we, we got the fire out, but the, the room was a loss. The whole, all the equipment was burned up. Uh, the uh, engineering department had to completely rebuild the AM control room. However, apparently they failed to budget for an on-air light. I don't know. <laughs> but our, our engineers, like, that's no big, bit, no big deal. I'll go down to uh, Radio Shack and TG&Y and I'll buy some parts, and I'll just make a light. So when he got it all together, he came to get us to have us all come and marvel at his work. I noticed something amiss. I said, hey, man, um, you misspelled on. <laughs> he said, what? I said, you misspelled on. It says no air. He said, are you complaining? I said, absolutely not. That's exactly what we wanted. <laughs> we left it like that. Guys, once again, from the heart of my bottom. That was said earlier, wasn't it? No, really. From, from the bottom of my heart, I, I can't thank you enough. If you're a voting member of the 
the Hall of Fame, uh, thank you for the votes. I especially want to thank Andy Waldrop and George Shank for the nomination. And Josh, thank you for all you and your team do uh, that, makes, that has made this happen. Thank you very much.